In this video, we're going to dive deeper into navigating your workspace, joining team spaces, and customizing your sidebar. As you now know, every block in Notion must live on a page. Whether it's as simple as text for an email or as complex as a company's operating system, it's on a page. Pages can be housed within team spaces on your sidebar or inside of another page. And in case you're thinking, didn't someone say everything is a block? Don't worry, pages are a type of block too. When a member joins a workspace, they'll be added to any number of default team spaces. In this workspace, the general team space has six distinct top-level pages. Each of these can hold any number of nested subpages as well. You can click the All Team Spaces button to browse and join all available team spaces in your workspace. Any team space you join will show up in your sidebar, and you'll have access to the pages within it. Your organization may also have closed or private team spaces that require an invitation to join. To tell where a page lives, the team space and the parent pages it descends from, you can look to the breadcrumb in the top left. This shows all of the pages your current page is descended from, and you can click the ellipses to view more. Combined with the share menu in the top right, which tells you who can access a page and in what way, you'll get a full picture of a page's sharing settings. Let's talk about some best practices in Notion. We recommend keeping your sidebar selective. Think of it like your computer desktop. This is a lot easier to navigate than this. The same is true of your sidebar. Typically, we recommend having a company operating systems knowledge base and then a team space for each major function within your team, like marketing, sales, engineering, design, and so on though there are a few different strategies you can implement. Within these top-level pages, you can use subpages to further organize content and workflows. As an example, let's navigate through the layers of our Acme workspace. In the sidebar, we find the team space for marketing. Within marketing, there are top-level pages for different functions. Within those pages, like content marketing, we find even more subpages with relevant resources. If we were interested in brand content, we could click into this page and so on. Since a page might be relevant in more than just one area, we also have a backlinks feature. It lets you see where else this page has been referenced. You can also add a breadcrumb block anywhere within a page, and that will show the current location of the page by typing slash breadcrumb. For example, to include a navigational footer on a long dock. Let's go ahead and build out some connections in the form of a brand style guide. We'll start by making a top-level page inside of marketing called Brand Style Guide. When we click into this page, we can see that the breadcrumb shows the path we took to get here, marketing, and then Brand Style Guide. Inside of this, we're going to build out our wiki. Rather than creating folders, Notion lets you organize content on the page using subheadings. Maybe we'll have one for written style, one for visual style, and one for archived brand resources. We could add callouts to explain each section too, if it makes sense. After we've added these, we can navigate through to see how the breadcrumbs change and how they might show up in the sidebar. If you joined an existing Notion workspace, think about how you might change or refactor your sidebar for better organization. And if you're the first member, pick those key areas for top level pages, start adding some structure, and definitely keep watching this course.